October 8, 2008, has been a historical moment in Sevier County. The Supreme Court of Utah has ruled in favor of allowing Proposition 1, the initiative petition for the Sevier County Power Plant question, to be on the ballot for November 4th. I am Elaine Bonavita, the chairman of the Right to Vote Committee that organized and spearheaded the initiative petition. And this is our co-chairman here, Ron Sandine. Okay, and I'm the one right that on. did all the sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one behind the scenes. But I'm a very happy man today, and uh, I'm really glad to see us get out of the local area and get up where uh, uh, I believe when we get up to the, the, the upper courts that the they really uh, know what's what's up and uh, feel that way. Tell us about what happened today at the Supreme Court, Elaine. Yeah, well, the Supreme Court, um, they didn't make a decision right away. At 11 o'clock, they had 15-minute oral arguments from both sides, Severe Power Company and from the Right to Vote Committee and the sponsor's attorney, Jeff Owens. And they did their oral arguments. And the decision came down maybe about 4 o'clock this afternoon. Jeff Owens, he got a phone call and called me straight away. The Supreme Court announced their decision. They said, we can't issue the actual decision in writing because we're still working on it. It'll take a while. But we want you to know that the Right to Vote Committee and the sponsors of Proposition 1, the initiative petition, are on the November 4th ballot. And the court has ordered Sevier County to send out whatever they need to send out again, if they've done absentee ballots, if they've done anything, voter pamphlets, uh, ballots, anything, it must be resent out with Proposition 1 on it now because obviously it wasn't on it, and that's been a problem for us, as you know. So one, one thing I'd like to say is uh, I'd like to thank everybody because uh, this uh, Elaine has put in an awful lot of work on this, and, and uh, a lot of other people, our sponsors, and uh, particularly those people that helped to, to get the, uh, the people to sign the initiative and uh, the uh, people that we've had working uh, with the legal team and, uh, and our attorney, Jeff Owens, uh, just like to thank everybody for, for a very successful uh, outcome. Yes, and thank you to all the people who donated thousands and thousands. That's it was right. more than $20,000 for our legal defense fund. We want to thank all the people who donated to it that helped us to win our appeal to put Proposition 1 back on the ballot. We want to thank everyone for their prayers, for their sacrifice, and their work. Isn't that right, Ron? That's right. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations.